Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Minimoog Model D app. When you install the app, you'll notice that there is a whole number of presets that it ships with. They are neatly arranged in banks, so you can see the bass bank, the classics banks, and so on. Um, so if you play the keys, you can hear the sounds you're playing, and as you tap on a bank, you can just explore those sounds. And by tapping the back button in the top left corner, you can go back to the list of banks, pick another one, and move around in here to explore different sounds. Now, let's imagine that I like this sound, but I want to change it a little bit. So I have this sound, change the filter frequency, and I want to save it. This is very easy, just tap the save button in the toolbar and it's going to ask you what you want to name it as. You change the name, let's say this is the second version of this preset and I save it. It's going to appear right there in the bank and you can use it later if you want to recall it. Um, let's now imagine that you want to use this preset but put it into a different bank. This is very easy also. You just navigate to the bank you want to put it into and then press the save button again and it's going to save it right there in that bank. Now, if you have a whole series of presets that you like and you want to combine them together, simply press and hold the save button and a menu is going to appear that allows you to create a new bank. And I'm going to name this favorites. So there we go, create a new bank. It selects it automatically if you press on it, it's empty, but you can store your presets in here. And like that, they're all neatly arranged. A nice little trick is that you can use this then uh, with MIDI program change to uh, navigate through your presets from an external controller uh, when you're playing live. Now, some people like to start from an empty slate. Sometimes you don't want to use an existing preset and start from a very uh, standard default sound. You can get there by pressing and holding the save button. That menu appears again and in its preset resets everything. And you get a default sound with just one oscillator playing. So I'm going to tweak this in its preset a little bit. I'm going to add a second oscillator. Change the filter frequency. And now I really like this preset and I want to send it to a friend or to myself on my phone. You can do this by pressing on the share button in the toolbar and over AirDrop, it's going to show you which devices are connected. In this case, it's my iPhone. So if you look at my iPhone over here and I press the AirDrop button, you are going to see that it's going to send it over and it appears right here on the iPhone uh, as a preset that I can use. Lastly, you can also send a preset over email. Same way, press the share button. Email is going to be one of the first options available. Press it. You pick the person you want to send it to. And it's going to send it out to that person. If you now go to your mail application, you can see that email appear that you just sent. And if you tap again, then you get an option to open the attachment in Model D by pressing Copy to Model D, and it will open that patch that you just received in the Minimoog Model D app. The same works for entire banks and also for MIDI CC mappings that you created for your controller. Thank you for watching and see you in the next demo video of the Minimoog Model D app.